you to this is by you here. It has been about what three weeks since I uh, we talk and show you uh and show you some uh, items. Uh, what I have to for you today is something uh, very fast, but actually I want to talk to you and show you some uh, some uh, video. Okay. Uh, English Almanar.com. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is an Ozark Trail uh, sleeping back liner, 78 inches by 33.5. I mean, this is big. Once you open it and then you stand it, it's 78 inches from head to toe and 33.5 inches wide. Now, this is a liner, rectangular liner, that you could use with uh, a little bit upscale uh, army kind, uh, armed forces kind of uh, emergency blanket. Now you could use it with the other one, the pink, the red one, the pink one, but you know that one gets destroyed real quick. This one lasts a long time. Actually, I think this one I have it for several years. And once you put you a liner and you wrap around this one, this will keep your heat that comes out of the liner itself. See, you put the reflector towards you, wrap it out like a tar like a like a not like a taco, like an enchilada, like a burrito kind, and it's very big. Okay? You fold it in half. Tuck uh, 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 Lauta style, and that will cover your whole body, and, and your leg, and your feet, and everything else. And then, and then this is not going to be against your body because you're going to have this liner. This is around less than ten dollars, including taxes, in Wally World. Also, Trail, that's Wally World brand. So this is an option for you to carry instead of big bulky uh, sleeping bag, at least around these seasons. Okay. Now, that's for uh, sleeping gear, now that uh, spring is here and summer is around the corner. Now, let's talk about the uh, conflict that I have about five days between the uh, Hamas in the uh, whatever is left for the Palestine territory and Israel. If you remember correctly, uh, uh, on my last, I think it's the last two uh, 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 video, I, I talked to you that uh, the, uh, the Bob Chod Bibi uh, was going to start a war because that's the only way that, that he will remain in power. And again, he lost elections, he cannot form a government. So with this conflict, he extended his uh, leadership in Israel when nobody gave it to him. Literally, nobody gave it to him. Actually, he now had problems inside his own political party, radicals on the right, because this female that is number two in the party wants to uh, kick him out completely because it's not helping Israel at all. And uh, um, it's gonna be out of there in a, in a matter of weeks, maybe in a matter of days. I gave him 30 days and he's out. But let's go back and talk about what we have seen on, on YouTube, non-Western prostitute. I said again slowly, non Western prostitutes. Western prostitutes it give you lies all the time and there's nothing that you can do. This TV station, UK TV, U L K E TV, you can go to YouTube and research it, save it because it gives you live video, live video of the problem. Okay, and then if you have to, if you want to read what they said in Turkish, just click uh, translate, automatic translate, and we'll see you. But on this 
YouTube channel, I have seen the usage of the uh, Cornet e model, the Russian uh, anti tank weapon, blow up at, le at least two US, uh, um, excuse me, two IDF Israeli Army uh, Jeep, completely to pieces. At uh, the beginning, they were talking about four deaths, and then it says no, only two deaths, three wounded. Now they're talking about one death and three wounded. The IDF is lying, they're taking casualties, and this is getting out of hand. Uh, the Bob Trump wanted the army to do a ground attack inside Gaza, but the uh, head of the military told him, No way, Jose, we're not doing that because they're going to kill us. Uh, since the uh, invasion of the IDF into Lebanon and how Hezbollah kicked the Israeli army tail back to their area, Hamas has been able to uh, acquire more weapons. Now, I'm not an engineer. Most of you behind the camera are not an engineer, but you have to understand a rocket that is built in your backyard is not sophisticated enough and is not fast. F A S T. And even though they are not sophisticated enough, fast enough, the missiles that the IDF use and the iron, um, the protection that the Israeli has, Israel has as a whole iron drum, is is only about eighty to eighty three percent effective. Now they're saying, uh, uh, of course. It depends on who, what TV you watch. You send that as 95%, this 95 But if you watch this channel, Al A L Manar, M A N A R dot com, put the word English on front, English dot Al Manar dot com, you're going to see video from the Israeli side, see how the missiles. Uh, that it cannot hit the uh, 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 rocket, the Hamas rocket, getting into Israel, Tel Aviv, uh, is blowing up and killing people. Um, you don't have to be an engineer or a technician, but but you can see that if you send a hundred rockets, they are not missile guys. Don't let the liars lie to you. They are plain, simple missiles. Just like the uh, uh, higher terrorists by the U.S. government they were doing in uh, Syria, but this one's a little bit longer. I saw one that, uh, on this channel. It was about eight foot long, and this is the funny part. Uh, there were two people at the head of the uh, rocket with heavy rope, I think naval rope, lifting the head of the missile like this one on the left one on the right lining up with the hole in the launcher and three people on the back pushing in there basically it's a carbon copy of the old katushka world war ii and the copy of what the russian had now because they are rocket launcher they're not missile launcher they cannot navigate in the sky and you can see a couple of videos uh, RT and Bebo, this is the Spanish RT. Uh, you can see a nighttime hub because they are 2407, they have a camera. And you can see on the Israeli side, you can see how the uh, the uh, the missile, because this, this is a missile, is teleguided, moving left, making circles, trying to hit the, uh, the Hamas rocket. Now, what the Western press as of uh, Friday 11.06 Central Time had not said one word is the uh, Lebanese citizens crossed the border into the occupied territory and they uh, IDF start shooting at them, shooting live bullets. So in a state of uh, they calm down the situation, they open another front now in Lebanon. And to add more gasoline to the fire, now you get the Jordanian people cro going crossing the border to the uh, 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 occupied territory 
and, and putting flags and backing up the Palestinians. Again, uh, English, that almanac.com, you will see videos. Uh, so you don't have to believe me, you don't have to trust me, just search it on YouTube and you see the video. Now, uh, for these people, since these represent uh, the uh, uh, Palestinians in, in, in uh, Gaza and the Palestinians in, um, in Lebanon, sometimes you will not see it at the, at the, at the beginning, at the first, because I'd be in a uh, censor internet censorship, believe it or not. But if you do it two or three times, it goes through. Now, uh, this is the Turkish TV, which is also making a big deal and showing videos on the Israeli side. You can see the damage caused by the rocket launch from Hamas, uh, from Gaza. So, um, the issue, I told you about three weeks ago, those who understand geopolitics, you don't have to be a general or CIA puke to know that when you have a dictator, a criminal dictator, they have been charged with three different crimes, is, 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 is fighting for his political life. And more than likely he's going to be in jail anywhere between 15 to 20 years. He has stolen, he has falsified documents, he has done numerous crimes, but he has been charged in Israel with Israeli court for three charges, embezzlement. And to compound the issue is the Secretary of Defense is the opposition member. A general, don't remember his name right now, that he was the one who told the Butcher Bibi, no, we're not gonna send the army, the IDF, the young troops over to Gaza because they're gonna get killed, they're gonna get waxed. Just like the IDF did when they crossed over to Lebanon, the last go around 2008, and they had to come back because they couldn't move forward, and they lost 68 Merkava tank, 68, and nobody can deny that. Nobody can say no. But you know, you know, why you not what are you talking? Because you got pictures of the tank destroyed. Uh, they were using the new, uh, not the RPG, but the new, the new kind of RPG. I don't remember the name. He had that snake name. And they found the weak point in the Merkaba, which is right behind the back, the lower part. You get in there, you get a, a, a melted cheese. I mean, because it's destroyed the whole, it, it destroyed the whole tank from the inside out. It's unbelievable. It, they hit the M1s, Alpha 2s, they hit the uh, German, the Leopard, they hit the, uh, the M60 modified from the uh, Turkish army. Uh, they hit a whole bunch of tanks, so now this, this little shoulder fire, um, um, it's not a Cobra, it has a snake name, which is a new version that uh, you don't have to even spend thousands of dollars. You get a couple of hardcore uh, ground people out there, buried on the ground, as soon as the tank goes by, they come out, boom, they're dead. Everybody in the tank is dead. Uh, so now we see it, uh, two new racket that uh not gonna pronounce the name because I don't know but you can see in, you can see on the videos I'm an artist, especially I'm an artist. and also press TV press TV uh dot com you can see the videos of the Hamas because you know they're friendly they they are pro the Palestinian everybody's pro Palestinian you find everybody in Latin America they all they recognize Palestine uh, I think it Guatemala when recognizing the uh, Israel uh, embassy in um, in um, not Tel Aviv but Jerusalem, and then about two months later, a new president said, "Nope, we're not going to do that because uh, Jerusalem is always being uh, uh, with the Palestinians." And then the UN could see they're uh, um, uh, independent of everybody, almost like the Vatican, you know. Three religion, three religion is 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 a home of three religions. So you cannot one country own it. it Have to be independent. But now we have seen Palestinian drums. Uh, the the design is basically the same as the Israeli uh, uh, kamikaze drum. And as an artillery man, as an old chief, I tell you the the math, the 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 computation of flight and gas and fuel. 
and Queen Trajectory and all the Mambo Jambo stuff is they're doing a good job because they had destroyed the biggest Israeli uh, gas depot. It blew up, <laughs> boom! And it's on video, guys. Nobody can deny that. They uh, one of those little drums um, blew up a, 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 a chemical plant. In Israel, in this video, how it comes over here on the side, it goes, it flies in there, and right before the hit, it turns around, it goes, boom, sorry. It blew up the whole thing and, and, and make a big fire, a big mess. That's a chemical plant. Uh, and remember, in my last video, I told you that they were practicing, okay? In artillery, nothing is perfect at the beginning. Before you get an area plot, it's called plot, P L O T with fire, you have to fire some rounds, okay, uh, okay, move right, adjust for fire, five meals up, five meals, uh, 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 deflection five meals left, or deflection five meals right quadrant, so the gun, the gunners on the other side can shoot and hit the target when, when they're supposed to, so all those locations have been plowed already, and we can see they're getting hit, even the nuclear plant now got hit with rockets, guys. Uh, the situation is getting not desperate yet for the Palestinians in, in uh, Gaza, but for the Israeli because now with this new rocket they can hit all the cities in Israel. And the issue now for the Israelis is you get the people from Lebanon and the people for uh, Jordan coming over to the occupied territory. So you basically you're getting two other countries involved in this conflict. And you don't want little brother Hezbollah to start shooting the big missiles, they do have missiles, inside Israel because Israel burns like like no other city in the world would burn. Um our US President Biden uh, the comment that Israel had the right to defend the cell. <laughs> Actually, it would be better if it would be quiet and don't say nothing because I create more conflict than helping anybody. Oh, by the way, the situation is so um, normal, quotation mark, that the army is deciding to move the troops out of Israel. That's how normal it is. The, um, the, uh, Russian government, the foreign ministry already started moving the uh, people out of Israel, okay, because uh, this this is not going to stop anytime soon because I told you before, this is BB only way to get out of going to jail. And do not get surprised if something happened to him from his own people, okay, because he is making a mess out of Israel. Uh, he's not. If they go election number five, which is going to be impossible, it would be stupid to go number five because he has, he has no support. His own party wants to kick him out. Okay. So the 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 number of Israeli citizens getting killed is high. Is more than a what they say and the ability of uh, uh, blowing up jeep with the uh, shoulder fire Russian uh, weapons. Is is it's difficult for any army commander to send the troops forward knowing that they're going to get massacred, they're going to get hit. So the Hollywood portrayal of the undestructible, unbelievable IDF is going to be no more. And if that happens, then technically is the end of Israel because I don't think that our president is going to send army troops over there to protect the Israeli because it's going to happen exactly like it happened in Lebanon when the Marine Barrack blew up and killed 260 some people. And this time he's not going to need the, the, the Russian to pay, the so-called Russian to pay Taliban to kill GI because they're going to do it for free, for free. The evil in that area of the U.S. is the evil. And it's, 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 and I'm making this up, that's the way it is. But since you don't watch real TV, not paid by anybody, now I'm mismanaged by the Jews over here, so they kept it quiet. 
So get on these channels and uh, read, watch videos and understand what's happening. Okay, so now we got Lebanese crossing over, so he's getting, a, he's getting, he's getting three fronts now, guys. Three fronts. And they already call 9,000 reservists. 9,000. We're not talking little Mickey Mouse people throwing the rocks. Uh, why do we worry about this? Because this could be the beginning of World War III. Remember, uh, they were, they, they, not recently the King of Jordan almost, somebody was trying to do a coup d'etat. And he was able to, to survive because the Jordanian army, Jordanian high-ranking officers are smart. They don't live with the murderers. They don't live with the uh, ultra right or with Russia. They got their own business because they know they are in the middle of a holy hell. And for for us as generous officer of Jordan, the best bet is to protect Jordan. The rest can go to hell. That's their mentality, and they're doing real good for the last uh, sixty to seventy years, and they're going to continue that. And don't expect Jordan to help anything. Don't expect Syria to help anybody. And don't expect the Lebanese to do anything. Uh, on the other side, the South South Egypt, they're going to stay out of it because they know the people will, will get the president like, like they did the last president. So Israel is alone. Uh, I don't know what is going to happen with the U.S., what kind of support. So this is going to be the beginning, I hope. The bunch of BB is now going to launch any nuclear weapons because that will be nasty. Okay, Russia is not going to allow that to happen. And I know little brother Hezbollah is not going to sit on the sideline not doing anything. So uh, go ahead and uh, get those 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 uh, uh, YouTube channels RT and Bebo, even though this is Spanish. In English, they don't put it on because you know, they're not concerned that they're going to be kicked out of the U.S., but in the Spanish, they do it. English.almanar.com, um, the Turkish TV, Ulk, U-L-K, E-T-B, and uh, PressTV.com. You find all the videos and live stuff that nobody can be at you anymore. Okay, uh, YouTube, I don't want to scare you, but... Uh, like I said before, be aware, uh, I'm not even going to talk about U.S. business because this is more important. This will happen quicker than anything else around the world. Talk to you later. Behave. Adios.